LRT, Live View Central, LU2000, a lot of terminologies, right? Confusing also, but no worries, I got you covered. My name is Petra Verbruggen and welcome to this video in the LU300 video series together with Live View. In this video, I'll talk to you about the LiveView ecosystem and then you will know exactly what makes this product, the LU300, shine. Let's do it. First up is the heart of the LiveView unit, the magic sauce as I like to call it. The LiveView Reliable Transport or LRT for short. There is already a fantastic video out there. It's called Harness the Power of LRT, but the Key takeaways of this video are that LRT bonds multiple 4G or LTE networks together for one resilient connection. It also mitigates issues when one of these networks is failing and it dynamically adjusts the video bitrate to the bandwidth available as is shown in this picture you see on the screen. The next one is HTVC and HTVC is actually H.265, which is the successor of H.264, and basically it's a better quality for the same amount of data, or you have less data for the same quality as H.264. All right, so there are still H.264 machines. The LU200 is H.264, uh, the LU200 also comes in other form factors. The 210, the 220 are 19 inch racks, rack mountables, and the LU200E is without the modems. Next to that, of course, you have the LU300, which is also available as an LU310, and the LU300E without the modems, and the last but not least, the flagship of LiveView at this moment, the LU600. I am so jealous for people that have that one. <laughs> okay, let's put things together. In this scenario, we have three cameras. Two of them are manned. One of them is not manned or unmanned. And the picture is not 100% correct because LiveView Central is more of a manager manager of everything it's not really passing through the video but all right um what you see here is on the right hand side uh, the studio and on the left hand side it's on the field and the live view on the left hand side what they do is that they send multiple packages to the LU2000 or LU4000 on premise and what that system does that hardware does it combines it into one sdi or ndi signal that you can feed into your hardware switcher or your software switcher um, that is great uh, but it's also possible to have the lu2000 or lu4000 in the cloud but that is something for another scenario also you notice that there is an audio interface on top right and a headset so that's what the producer uses to talk to the uh, cameraman and the audio, inter audio interface is connected to the LU2000 and from there it's connecting to the LU300 or LU600 as it's uh, stated here in this scenario and you can use that to contact them and say zoom in zoom out go pen left pen right and that is basically the scenario and now you also know what you need to have an at-home production and of course we have special videos about that particular subject so now you've learned about live view central the on-premise lu2000 or lu4000 server also you now know that there are multiple field units by live view not only the lu300 so a lot to discuss uh, if you like uh, this uh, video please subscribe to this video and hit the bell icon to get notified when i post a new video See you around. Bye-bye.